Australia's Disability Discrimination Commissioner Graham Innes thrives on the competition of weekly races sailing on Sydney Harbour. People with disability want to take control of our own lives. That's about it. We want to do what we can, what we want, uh, when we want. Yet Graham experiences prejudice almost every day. There's an assumption because he can't see, he's yeah. not capable. On the water, he's free. It's a freedom he's spent his life fighting for. He's made his own complaints under the DDA. All of my life I've used trains. I can get on and off the train, uh, I can find a seat, but the one thing that I don't know when I'm travelling on the trains is where I am. Everyone else has that information from the screens on the trains, from the signs on the trains or the stations, and all I'm asking Railcorp to do is to tell me where I am. I spoke to them in 2010 and uh, I said, look, the law has required you since 1992 to provide this information to people with a print disability. You're still not doing it. You've got six months, and if you're not doing it regularly by that time, then every time I catch a train where you don't tell me where I am, I'm going to lodge a complaint. I'm up to more than 70 complaints now. 36 of those complaints are currently in the federal court. The matter has been heard by the federal court and the decision is pending. I'm as confident as uh, a lawyer can be running a court case that I'll win because I can't see how it could be when we have discrimination law um, in Australia that uh, the provider of a, a service such as a, a railway service um, wouldn't be expected to let everyone know where they are, not just the people who can see the signs. I clearly have a passion for equality and a passion for rights and I've developed that as a result of the discrimination that I've experienced.